Hello there. Today we are learning lesson nine, which is analyzing linear functions. Some vocabulary we need to know is the slope, which has three different definitions. The first is the rate of change of a linear function. And then for any two points on a graph, the rise over run or change in y over change in x. And lastly, in the equation y equals mx plus b, the value of m. So we get all three of those down for slope. The next definition term is y-intercept. The y-intercept is the initial value of a linear function. It also is the y-coordinate for the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. And in the equation y equals mx plus b, the value of b. So I have an example here. I have, it says identify the slope and the y-intercept with the equation y equals 1 half x minus 6. So which one is my slope? Which one is my y-intercept? So you're looking at the equation and the rate of change. And we're not looking at a graph, but we do have an equation y equals mx plus b, the value of m. So which is the value of m? Well, it's the 1 next to the x. So that's that 1 half. So our slope is one half. And then my y-intercept, it says here that's the initial value, the y-coordinate on the graph, and in the equation y equals mx plus b, the value of b. So it looks like it's 6, but there's a term, you know, it's a, a sign in front, and that's a part of it. So it's negative 6. There we go. So there's that. Good job. So, here we go. The next thing to do, try to make that work so you can see this. Right, example two says, write the equation that describes the function shown in the table. So you gotta get this table down. We have our x and y table with five values. We have for the x values, negative one, zero, one, two, three. And for the y values, two, five, eight, 11, 14. So, get that table down. And then let's think, what are we doing? Well, we're writing an equation. What do we need for an equation? We need our slope. So to find our slope, we find our change in y values over our change in x values. So let's start with the y values. What's happening from 2 to 5 to 8 to 11 to 14? Each and every time, what's happening? Sorry. What's happening? Plus 3 every time. And what about our x values now? What's happening from negative 1 to 0 to 1 to 2 to 3? Every time it's plus 1. So I have change in y values is 3, change in x values is 1. So my slope is 3 over 1, which is 3. So, so far, I've got my slope. Next thing I need to write an equation is my y-intercept. So here, I look to find my y-intercept, I look look so it's going to be closer look when x equals 0 find the y coordinate so where is x equaling 0 well here's my 0 for x so what's my y coordinate if I circle that what's my y coordinate it's 5 so my y intercept is 5 lastly rewrite the equation as y equals m x plus b so I have a 3 for my m and a 5 for my b and here's my equation. So the equation that represents this table, y equals 3x plus 5. Cool. All right. So we're going to do a lot of problems like example 3. This is super important to understand. So let's get this down. You pay $13 every month to get your car washed with a startup fee of $50. Write the equation that describes the situation. So again, an equation, y equals mx plus b is our equation. What do we need to find? Our slope, our rate of change. You want to look for words like every and per. So where do we have that? Well, I pay 13, or you pay 13 every month. So there's my rate of change. It's 13 every month. So if I pay for two months, it's 13 times two. If I pay for seven months, it's 13 times seven. So my m is that 13. 
And the next thing is our y-intercept. That's your initial value. Where am I seeing an initial value? Well, you have a startup fee, startup fee of $50. That's a starting value. That's initial value. So my v value is 50. So the last thing to do is rewrite the equation as y equals mx plus b. Plugging in 13 for my m, 50 for my b. And again, y equals 13x plus 50. Okay, so we'll do lots of ones like that. So hopefully that sunk in and you'll get more practice on it if not. All right, last one. You need to make a t you need to make a coordinate plane because we're doing some graphing. Okay. So, we are writing, sorry, I'm trying to get here. Whoa. We're writing the equation for this graph and we're going to identify the slope and the y intercept. So, um start copying down the directions. Example 4, write the equation for the graph. Identify the slope my hair is in the way. There we go. And the y-intercept. And then we'll start working on it. Get that down. Pause the video. If you notice some things, the, where the line is, that's a 6 there. Right? And this coordinate, I'll give you the ordered pair here. This is 3, 4, if that helps. Okay? So get that down, and then we'll start doing the math. Pause the video. Make sure you labeled it with numbers and you labeled your axes. This one, the horizontal axis, is your x and the vertical axis is your y. All right, so the first thing to talk about is the slope. We're writing an equation for the graph. Our slope is, if you remember this, it's the change in y over change in x. In other words, it's y2 minus y1. Change in is different, subtracting. So subtract our y values over subtract our x values. Or rise over run. You can do both. If you'd prefer, you can use two ordered pairs. The two ordered pairs that I used are 0, 6 and 3, 4. So when I subtract, I get 6 minus 4 over 0 minus 3, which is 2 over negative 3. If I use my graph, I start here and I go down 2 and I go right 3. That would be down 2 and right 3, which is negative 2 over 3. So either way, if you notice, either way, 2 over negative 3 or negative 2 over 3 is still, our slope is negative 2 thirds. And then step 2, find your y-intercept. where the That's where the line crosses the y-axis. Where is that? Well, that's here. That's at 6. So b equals 6. And then rewrite the equation. So I have my slope and my y-intercept in it. So I have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 6. So the graph here, the equation is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 6. Okay? And the last thing it says is to identify the slope and the y-intercept. We already did that. So my slope equals negative 2 thirds and my y-intercept equals 6. Maybe they just want you to re-identify re it. Maybe we should even write it instead of m and b. Since we already did that, write slope equals negative 2 thirds and y Intercept. Trying to write fast and it's just coming out super messy. Looking like some of your handwritings. So our y intercept is 6 and our slope is negative 2 thirds. Now I answered every question in the graph and we'll do a bunch more like that soon.